after two bowl victories in as many years, the Oklahoma State Cowboys feel the time is now for a run at the BCS. We've developed a lot of continuity. Uh, we have to think we have very good chemistry on our team. Uh, and we have to uh, take care of the football on offense and force turnovers on defense and go play hard. Uh, but uh, we feel really good about our team. Led by a record-breaking quarterback, the offense is proven and balanced both in the air and on the ground. There's really good quarterbacks in this league. Uh, we're probably as deep as any league in the country uh, with quality quarterbacks, uh, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade Zach for anybody. But in order to make a run at the Big 12 championship, the Cowboys know they must improve their defense. We have to be better. I mean, we have to be better. Uh, I, I'm not at all, I will not at all accept what happened last year. We'll be a better defense than we were last year. The Cowboys are looking to play in January, but it all starts now in the spring. It's the Oklahoma State Spring Tour, and it starts right now. After 18 seasons with only one bowl victory, the Oklahoma State Cowboys are coming off their second bowl win in three seasons under head coach Mike Gundy and will be looking to improve upon their 7-6 and six record in 07. This year, they hope to compete for the Big 12 championship. We really feel like we're, we're getting better. We've developed more depth on our team. Uh, for the first time in a long time, we've got uh, two deep on the offense and the defensive line. Uh, we have a veteran quarterback coming back. We've got a run spot. You know, we feel like we have as good a tight end as anybody in the country, a potential first round pick. Um, our coaching staff has been together for a while. You know, we lost our offensive coordinator and he became a head coach at Southern Miss. Uh, but for the most part, all of our coaches are back. So uh, we do, we've developed a lot of continuity. Uh, we have to, I think we have very good chemistry on our team. Uh, and we have to uh, take care of the football on offense and force turnovers on defense and go play hard. Uh, but uh, we feel really good about our team. The Cowboys have found stability in arguably the most important position on the field, quarterback. Record-breaking junior Zach Robinson has solidified himself as the starter under center and boasts one of the conference's most balanced offensive attacks, gaining exactly as many yards in the air as they did on the ground. Our offense is based on what the defense gives us. Um, we feel like we're flexible enough and uh, we have enough things that we can go either way. Um, obviously returning Zach, uh, who's a good running quarterback, but, uh, but threw for 2,800 yards. Uh, we have some youth at the wide receiver position, but we feel like we have more speed than we've ever had. And then, of course, we have Brandon Pedro uh, at the tight end position. It's going to be a really good player for us. So um, if they allow us to throw the ball, we'll throw it. Uh, if they want us to run it, we'll run it. We just take whatever they give us. But Robinson will have to do it again this season without his starting running back, Dontrell Savage, and receiving threat, Adarius Bowman. In order for the Cowboys to be once again successful on offense, they need to find a replacement for both positions. We'll definitely miss Savage. He, I mean, he's a great player. He, you know, the things he did, you know, without the ball in his hands, uh, you know, we'll miss, you know, as well as in his hands, obviously. But, but he played with so much passion and energy, and guys kind of looked to look to him for that. But, um, you know, on the flip side, we have Bo Johnson's coming in, and, and you guys saw Kendall Hunter last year. And so both of those guys, along with Keith, healthy Keith Tosin, and so with that three, with those three guys, uh, you know, we have a pretty solid core, and, and so I feel you know just as good as I did last year with those three guys. Against the 12th ranked Texas Longhorns, Robinson broke Gundy's 18-year-old school record for passing yards in a game by a single yard. But that game will be most remembered for Robinson's record-breaking performance but for blowing a 21-point fourth-quarter lead. It is a loss that the Cowboys still remember. It haunts them, but more importantly, it is the loss they want to remember. You have to play four quarters, and you hear that you hear coaches say that a lot, but it's so true. Uh, and our players are putting themselves in position now against quality teams to where if we just finish, we can win those games. And last year, it was tough to lose a game, for example, against Texas when you're ahead by 17 points at one time. But I think you look back as a team, and, and that'll help us grow. When we get in that situation again, we'll be able to finish it off. We've talked about it quite a bit because it's the difference from from um, you know playing in December and playing in January. So uh, we've got to learn to finish uh, and make sure that we play a, a complete football game. We're always right there, and it just seemed you know so close. 
But, I mean, close is win the game. we got to finish the game. And, you know, if we finish those two games this year, win it, you know, before I leave here. So it's going to happen. In 2007, the Cowboys in conference, but in the nation. But should the Cowboys compete for the 12 championship, they will have to improve on defense. Under second-year defensive coordinator Tim Beckman, it all starts with fundamentals and buying into a system proven to be successful. Well, it's a challenge. There's no question about it. Last year, was, in, in all honesty, was the hardest year I've ever gone through as a coach. Uh, we've just got to get better fundamentally. I think it starts with that. In any defense that you play, you've got to be fundamentally uh, sound and, and play with fundamentals of, of low pad level and tackling and, and getting off blocks and all those types of things that, that we really weren't where we need to be at uh, to be successful. Our chemistry on defense is better. I think that uh, those guys will be really competitive this year. I know they understand the system better. They feel better about themselves, and I think they'll go out and play hard. We'll be a better defense than we were last year. The easiest goal, is, is, as we've talked about, I mean, we just have to be better. I mean, we have to be better. Uh, I, I'm not at all, I will not at all accept what, what happened last year. And it comes on my shoulders, and, and I totally understand that because I'm in charge of this defense, but uh, we, uh, we, we want to make definite strides in every category that we're in, and there's strides that need to be made in every one of those categories. I think you're going to see a more physical defense, and you know what we want to be known for is a defense that flies around and will hit you in the mouth, and it's going to play the whole game, and we need to learn how to finish games because that's what we had a problem with last year, but you know, that's what we're going to try and work on and try and change that to this year. With the emergence of Kansas and Missouri as nationally ranked at number one last season, the balance of power has shifted a little in the Big 12. And the Cowboys think they can be the next BCS power. Is this the year for Oklahoma State to be up there? I think it is the year, and, you know, that's what we're shooting for, especially Kansas was such a good example because, you know, the previous year I think they had a 6-6 six and six year just like we did the year before, and they did some things in the offseason different, and, uh, you know, everybody bought into the program, and they had a real successful year. So that's what our coaches keep preaching on, and, you know, our defense is always saying, you know, why can't we have a year like Kansas? So that's something we're shooting for. It all starts with defense because our offense is proven, and they've been proven for the last couple of years. But, you know, we just need to give them the help and give them the ball back, and, you know, everything will fall into place. Oklahoma State Spring Tour is presented by your Texas Ford dealers. Ford is the best in Texas. Coming up on the Oklahoma State Spring, the highlights from the first half, we weren't joking when we said the Cowboys will be better on defense. Speaking of defense, we spotlight this Juco transfer. He's known as the Punisher. Find out why when we return.